Hey, what's up, fellow toy nuts and YouTubers? This is Starscream 1988, and I'm doing something very different that I've never done before for you here. Um, and I have been doing YouTube now for a little over a year now. Um, but anyways, further ado, so let's check this out. So because this is new, and it's not something that I've done before, I just kind of wanted to give you a little, I guess, a sneak peek how it came about. Um, for those of you that follow my channel. Um, you, you know, I'm always talking about how I'm always getting at collections and stuff like that. I'm always getting a lot of extras and stuff. So, um, for, as an example, um, this particular line, this is from the animated show. I, um, I don't, I don't keep doubles, uh, except for Optimus Primes and I actually kept Dinobots. I kept two of each or whatever because the Dinobots were pretty cool. Um, but other than that, everybody else, I mean, if there's a recolor, I do purchase it or whatever. Um, this particular toy, um, this is Megatron. As the title says, um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I thought it was cool and it was a small deluxe. So I figured maybe this could be one of the first ones that I redo in terms of, um, you know, like a color variation. So my version that I'm doing, and like I said, I'll show you a sneak peek, is I guess, I don't know, I guess my own version of a shattered glass. I'm trying to make it look um, a little heroic in terms of the color scheme, a little bit different. Um, and it's weird because I started with only doing certain parts of the body on the one that I'll, I'll show you real quick. And then it kind of like comes down to you can't really have a custom unless you change all of it. <laughs> so I kind of went from only doing modding a few parts in terms of just color anyway um, to doing more, more, more and more. So, um, I don't know. So, anyway, further ado, let me just take this off the tripod and kind of, like, go through the workstation here. No, I'm not using airbrush. Um, I did finally, finally order one. So, I should be getting it through the mail soon. I actually just bought it day before yesterday, which was Thursday night. Today is Saturday. You'll probably see this on Sunday. Um, so, but because it's a deluxe and it's small, I figure I'd just kind of do acrylic. Kind of, you know, test or paint, whatever, shit, shit like that. So, anyway, um, kind of come over here, as you can see, um, just to kind of give you an idea, those are the colors that I picked. Um, it doesn't look like a lot, guys, but I'll be honest, man, there are approximately 24 screws to undo this stupid robot. So, um, so it kind of, it doesn't seem like a lot. I mean, it only really took like three minutes to take apart. But um, 20, 24 screws is a lot, and um, because it's such a small toy, it's kind of a pain in the ass to um, color and whatever not. So um, there's only a few things that I left original. Um, as you can see, this is the cannon, which is this right here. It is taken apart. So I kind of, I, I, my goal was to have almost no black on the figure. Um, so there's blue. There's this light blue there, as you can see. This is the front of the cannon. Um, that'll be painted also um, in this super like navy blue color. The only thing I left black was his chest piece because I don't have any repro labor stickers. So I didn't want to have to put a sticker there. Um, I modded the back a little bit where on this version, the original, and I'll show you that more when I go more into depth, but it's blank so I painted that in just to give it a little bit better tone and I kept the shoulder pads black other than that though um, even the face which I don't want to show you yet that's the back of the head there um, that will be modded too so anyway um, next thing I'm gonna do is just put them together um, normally one thing that I would advise and I'm, 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 I'm not I don't really care right now so it doesn't matter but um, I am gonna put a, um, a um, acrylic to keep the colors safe and so you can still transform whatever not. Unfortunately right now I don't have any so I have to go to the store and do it. So what I was going to say was normally you want to apply it now while they're loose like this but I'm just going to do it when it's already built so I really don't care because this is my first one in a long time. Um, I like doing model kits and as a matter of fact I just kind of get off my um, my display thing as you can see these are uh, Star Wars um, the toy up there obviously is not a model but the Speed Racer is a model those are all models up there 
Uh, and there's actually even more models inside the boxes, so it's not like this is something new to me. I, I do like making models. Um, I Actually, I think I have two Millennium Falcons in there just to save space. I open up a lot of stuff. Um, that's the Lost in Space um, model kit there. I love that ship. It's cool. So, um, yeah, I, I do like doing this course. I do work a lot, so it's kind of tough. Um, and this is just basically a preview of once I'm finished with this Megatron here, these are some of the other ones I'm going to work on. Um, some of them seem like they're going to be a challenge. I mean, this is going to be kind of tough. Um, I think this is going to be buzzsaw. I'm going to do buzzsaw colors. Um, obviously, I have these already um, in my personal collection. Um, so I think this is going to be Starscream. And that's just going to be a G1 Starscream, just kind of like when they did the G1 um, in the first movie. So they had the recolored and then, you know, the, the gray looking one. Um, this here, I only have in my collection this one and the G1 colors. So for now, since I only have one, um, this is either going to be Thundercracker or Stars or Skywarp. Um, this is going to be, I think, a big challenge. There's actually a lot of um, detail, a lot of grooves. So I don't think I'll be doing brushes with this. I think I'm going to have to do airbrush. So no free-handed... Um, I won't be able to use my my sable brushes. I'm gonna have to use the gun. Um, same thing with this guy. As as crappy as it is, there's just a lot a lot of detail. So um, and then these guys, um, I have the original four. Um, so obviously this is going to be um, dirge, or you know vice versa, or whatever. But this is gonna be dirge and um, thrust. Um, I would love to somehow buy the the materials that people use or maybe somehow pluck fans out of something like this and kind of give it fans so that's going to be a challenge i think um, so this one will definitely be modded quite heavily um, if i could get a sky warp that would be cool seeing as the head's a little bit different so but i really want to work on these really well because I, I you know just like a lot of you guys i love the seekers so um but anyway uh, enough with my babbling I know we're already killed like seven minutes just um, talking about what I want to do. Um, so anyway, so um, as I always do, I'll zoom in, and then I'll zoom out, and when I zoom out, it'll be already built. Cool. Okay, and we're back, and here is my custom Megatron. So as you can see, he's a little bit different than the standard animated Megatron again this was all done by um, freehand basically I did use basically just um, the the test store um, paints that you saw in, in the first little segment of this um, he was actually really hard like I said um, 24 pieces to take him apart uh, once I took him apart I um, painted everything individually I did pretty much 90% of the figure um, some things that I changed, um, I'll show you his face now. Hopefully that can focus as you can see. Um, I wanted to give him a little bit of texture in his actual face. So I, um, I put some gray in there and they just kind of like rubbed it off with a knife. Um, I had to get like really creative because it's so small. Um, as, you know, as a matter of fact, that's a finger. Uh, for those of you that don't have that, fi that figure so you can kind of see the size there. Um, luckily the piping portion of it can come out. So that didn't get ruined or anything like that. Um, then with a small brush, I did the blue as you see there. I gave him a goatee. I did his black eyebrows. Um, some things that I kept original, and that's just because I do love the color red. Um, I mean, one of the things I wanted to convey was I wanted no black on him other than the goatee there. And on the shoulders, he still has a little bit of black there, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, his hands, they used to be black. Now they're blue, his feet, his wings, his legs, um, his um, cannon here. Um, I gave it a little bit of detail there. I really wanted to make it look like a barrel. So I was trying to test that first kind of like a gray mixed with silver just to see if it could give it depth. But I, I don't know how to do that yet. So I just kind of left that as is. Um, this was actually one of the few, few portions that was actually um, um, the same material. And it had some black striping. But I decided to do it all silver. And only because it makes sense when you transform him into the um, his jet mode or whatever. Just it, To me, it just ended up looking better. 
Um, one thing that annoyed the hell out of me, it, well, it should, actually annoys the hell out of me of all toys is the amount of screws. So what I did was, um, when I put all the screws back, I try to paint them. I, pr I try to pretty much paint every single one of them. Um, so yeah, you can still notice that there's screws there, but they're actually painted gray to match the, the tone of his body. Um, this gray here is actually a, um, um, I think it's a, God, I forgot the name of it. And I put, I put my, um, my paints away. It's basically like a battleship gray. So it's, um, it kind of has that, that look and that's kind of what I like about it. So, I mean, I, I, I did my, my brush strokes semi clean. I think I mean, there's going to be a couple of little marks here and there, but, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty clean. I, I did do the, um, the clear coat on top of it. Um, as I said prior to, um, you know, showing you the segment here, I did um, pretty much clear coated after it was semi -made, um, made. The only thing that was done individually were his legs here. Everything was actually painted separately, um, clear coated separately, I should say. And then I built it. Um, like I said, I left the red. This used to be black and now it's completely red. Um, this was black at first I did it red um, and there's a little bit of red right there you can probably see it but um, I just a red crotch just didn't look good <laughs> it's probably like a sick joke in there somewhere but um, yeah it just didn't look good so I decided to paint it to match this only because when it was black it matched this really well um, like I said I left the shoulders black so that's actually original black there I was very super careful not painting his wheels so these are the original colors this was really hard i mean i was still able to as you can see go around it and not paint the wheels once same thing with the other side um i did leave um those connections there original only because they were really hard you can't take them apart because there's a ribbit um you know holding it together both both pieces or whatever so I, I just I left it alone. Plus I don't know. I guess it kind of gives it some good detail. Same thing with um, that one right there. That's the original color. Uh, but the legs have been painted. The inside and outside of the leg have both been painted. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? I only missed one item out of all this. Um, the wing there, as you can see, there's some black. There we go. Yeah, so I forgot to paint that, um, you know, blue to match the rest of the wing. Other than that, though, a lot of the, the creases, I mean, I got to a lot of the creases. The heel is completely blue. Not the that portion there, but that doesn't matter because that kind of gets hidden. So I didn't do that part. Um, the inside of the leg here, I also painted totally, like all that. I mean, I really should have, I guess, done that too, but I don't know. I just kind of figured I'd just leave it gray. So just choices that you make, I guess. Um, these came apart, so I was able to do these individually, as you can see. So all on his legs came out, but that always happens. That's basically it. I've kind of killed another six minutes and just showing you the detailing that I did. Let me actually transform him to his vehicle mode. And then um, I'll compare him in his vehicle. And then I'll transform the other one back because it'll be a little bit easier. So it's a lot easier to break them apart. So, I mean, if you've done this before, you basically just put his hand spark backwards like that. Just do that. And then bring these all the way forward like this. And you can see, I mean, I'm being... I'm not being all that gentle. I mean, you can just you can definitely play with it, which is cool. That's why the, the clear coat is very important to have, because if not, your hands be all sticky right now, and just be falling apart. And you know, obviously, the and the other big thing is, let it dry. <laughs> if you don't let it dry, it's gonna be pretty shitty. So it's pretty tight though. I had to take a knife and go around a lot of the the creases. So so like that, you could um. Oh, that's really really tough. I really should have messed with that up for a little bit. Um, then you just kind of bring this over here. And again, with the damn leg. Mm. That's because I forgot to bring it up. There we go. 
do, 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 do. Just bring this all the way around like this. Sorry, guys. Bring it forward like that. Do the same thing with this one. Don't let it come out, but put it together. Um, and where is it? Oop. There we go. Bring this wing all the way around like that. I, mean, I don't know if you can notice. I mean, obviously, as I'm doing it, it's it's pretty tight. So you just have to kind of play enough with it where you can loosen it up. Hopefully, eventually, bring these forward and bring these down. Connect those. These are left original too because these were impossible to take out again. They're machined in there. So, and there we go. That's it. Again, it seems like a real simple one, and it, you know, it is to a point. Um, it is a small transformer, so it's it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, but you know, it, it it took quite a few hours. I mean, the the good thing about video magic is that it looks like I just did it in ten minutes, when it actually it took me, I don't know, six seven man hours. <laughs> And you put this here like that and there you go and there's my animated version of i don't know i call it the shattered glass because that's kind of like the big thing now with the whole botcon thing that just happened and all that shattered glass has been pretty popular i don't know i like it it's um again a blue with a little bit of baby blue there and whatever not i'm gonna put him to the side there um show you comparison right here so there's the original one so you can see all the different colors so you can see it's pretty cool so that's the the original one it has like that battle kind of battle scars or whatever you want to call it and then there's mine so. doing the um the cannon was a little difficult i didn't use any tape um i just used a really good brush it's weird though how things just happen as you can see there there's a slight difference i don't know what happened i mean i this can come apart i painted one side and i painted the other for some reason this just came out a little bit darker so little mistakes that can happen again with the airbrush system would be a probably a lot better and you probably wouldn't have that issue so, see what I mean with the, the silver there? I just think it, it conveys it just a little bit better compared to that one. I mean, that's nice too. I like this a lot. But, um, A, it was going to be tough to try to turn this blue to match this. You know, so I definitely would have to use some type of tape. So, I could have gotten all those same lines. So, I could have kept the red. But, I don't know. It seemed like a pain in the ass. And I just kind of wanted to get it done at that point. So... it and then in robot mode again again this will be a lot easier I probably should have done the robot mode for this and then transformed it but I think it, I just find it easier turning them into the robot modes as this video is so long but seeing as it's my first one for anybody out there that's been thinking about kind of making a custom painted transformer or whatever it may be i guess it's kind of like my little um, guide to help you guys out for those of you that have never do, done one or have attempted again i have a couple bucket fulls of transformers so i don't have a problem messing with a few of them and like i said i I don't keep two of these like I do some of my other transformers so I was just like what the hell let me mess with this and as you saw in the beginning of the video I'm definitely gonna do a few more 
when my um, airbrush gun comes in. So um, I don't know if I will be selling these later on on eBay. I'm kind of debating whether I should just keep them all or sell them eventually. But we'll see. Sometimes I get bored of stuff that I do, so I might sell it. Another thing that I left original was those joints there. I could have actually painted those because those do come out. Oops, sorry about that. But um, I don't know. I just, again, just to give it a little bit of depth, I just kind of let, I left that one original. So again, I, I painted pretty much 90% of this toy. So. Oops. And that's it. I can just kind of show you a comparison from original to the new one. You can see the, the blue sides there, the arms, even the face is a little bit different. So again, this is supposed to be a good guy, um, and this is obviously the original. <laughs> so that's basically the end of my review. If you guys have any questions, please comment, subscribe, share. Um, I really did enjoy doing this. I'll be doing a lot more now that I have a baby coming. Um, I'm gonna have a dedicated room so I can do this stuff when you know when I have time because I'll be going out even less. <laughs> so. Um, hopefully um, when the baby's not crying or I don't have to be feeding her, you know, me or the missus, then I'll be able to do stuff like this and share with you guys on YouTube. But again, guys, thanks for watching and I appreciate it and um, stand by for some other ones. You guys take care. Peace.